now we will create a network uh, to with two different ip address here let's take two end device and a network device that we will take a router this time and i'm taking 1841 router here now we need to connect them here i will take the proper crossover wire to connect these two i will take the ip address as note so that i can see that whenever i need them the first laptop let's say the ip address will be 192.167.1.2 this is a C class IP address you can see. Here we will also take another C class IP address but we will take a different IP address 192.167.2.2. So they are from two different network. That's why we cannot send data using a switch. We need a router. Now we need to configure the laptop and the router both. Let's go to desktop and then IP configuration. Here we need to add the IP address. Now paste the IP address here and press enter. You will see the subnet mask appearing. We need to add default gateway, but I will add this later. First, let's just configure another laptop here. The IP address will be 2.2. subnet mask you can see that this is a c class ip address so we are using first 24 bit to represent the net id here inside the router we need to go to config and then we need to turn on the first ethernet zero and then you can see it is actually green now now we need to write a IP address for this first Ethernet 02. We didn't need to write this in switch, but in the router, we need to write IP address for the router connection to. First, let's turn on the first Ethernet 1. Then we need to add another IP address here. We will add the IP address similar to the laptop 2 because this is connected to this network. And first Ethernet 0 was connected to the laptop 0, so we will we wrote the IP address like the laptop 0 here. And for the first Ethernet 1, it was like laptop 1. You can see here both the IP address are different, and we need to write the IP address in the router according to the connection we gave them. Now we need to give the default gateway. For laptop 0 the gateway will be like the first Ethernet 0 connection of our router. And here you can see this is the similar one. And there was our first Ethernet 1 and here we need to copy this one and we need to give this as default gateway of our laptop, second laptop. Now, if we send a message, you can see that the message will be delivered correctly without any error.
you can see it is successfully done.